Hi, Dr. Laura Jaggett here, and in this Mominar, I'm going to show you how to renew your car's registration with the DMV. If you have a car, you have to do this every year. It is required. You'll be reminded about it at least a couple of times before it's due, and it's pretty simple to accomplish. These are the steps for the state of Nevada, but it's probably very similar, if not identical, to your own state. Every year, the DMV in your state will send you a notice in the mail that it's time to re-register your car. It'll come to the address that the DMV has on file, which should be your current address. You can do this process through the mail, but you can also renew online. If you set up an online account, your renewal notice will also be sent to your email. You'll receive both about a month before your current registration expires, and a couple more reminders as the deadline gets closer. With online renewal, you just click on the links and it'll take you to the renewal page. You'll see a copy of exactly what was sent to you in the mail. First, check when it is due and if it needs a smog test. This car is new, so it's not going to need a smog test, but if your car is older than a year old, you will most likely have to get that done. You'll also see an access code. This is only to be used if you are re-registering online. It's unique to you and it'll bring up your specific information. So here are the steps for online renewal. First, log into your account, and you're gonna select the service you would like to perform. Step one, select the vehicle you want to register. Step two, you have to have insurance in order to register your car. You'll verify or change your insurance information here. Step three, enter the odometer reading. That's how many miles are on your car. You will find that on the dashboard inside the vehicle. Step four, make payment. The renewal fees are based on the age and make of your car. The older and less expensive the car, the lower the fees will be. The actual amount due will depend on your state. Each state has their own fee schedule. You can pay directly from your bank. You just fill out the bank info here. They show you where you can find your account number and routing information. In this method, the money will be automatically deducted from your account, so make sure you have enough in there to cover it. You can also pay by credit card or debit card. You just fill in the info from your card here, and they also show you where you can find all the info that they need. Step five, once you've paid, you'll receive a confirmation notice that your registration has been renewed. Print this out and keep it in your car. You will also get an email confirmation. In about seven to 10 days, your actual license plate tag will arrive in the mail. When it does, it'll look something like this. The number indicates what month your registration expires and the color indicates the year. Each year will be a different color. This one is orange. The previous year was green. You're gonna clean this area very well. Get off all the dirt and oil and let it dry. Then peel the new sticker off and place it over the old one. Your plate now indicates that you're registered for the current year. Now, do not throw out this card that the sticker came on. This needs to be kept in your car with your insurance card. Have you ever heard the expression, license and registration, please? That's what they're talking about. I keep mine in the glove box. It's safe and out of the way here. Now that you know about this, you can prepare for it. Set aside the money it's gonna cost ahead of time. Maybe set up a car fund so that you're not taken by surprise. I hope this clears some things up. Please subscribe right now to this channel for more short video tutorials on how to do basic life skills. And please check out and subscribe to the How to Life podcast, where I interview experts in all sorts of fields who will help teach and guide you through all sorts of adult stuff. I'll see you in the next Mominar.